Good day of yours, well, yeah, I've had this bottle of Epsom salt, salt, salt and water mix solution sitting in my um, workshop, which is, I did that in the other, um, when I first did that Epsom salts video, in that first batch you were done. That's just what's left of it. So yeah, I put some of that and topped up this old 6 watt battery, which is set dry for, oh, I reckon about 6 years. Set dry, bone dry, dead as a maggot. Not a single volt on it, but now I topped it up with this Epsom salts water. It's only a 6 watt battery by the way. And this battery is stuffed, but I'm doing an experiment. It's actually charging this battery, or whatever's left in that battery. And it's actually starting to hold a voltage now, so... It's bubbling up good, too. Now, I don't have a 6 volt charger for this battery, so I'm just going to use this battery that holds 8 volts. Because of these two cells are dead, 4 volts gone, so yeah. 8 volts to charge a um, 6 volt battery. And we'll see how she goes. It's been on since... Let's say about... 11 o'clock today. Probably now, oh, I don't know, about probably 2 o'clock now, so a couple of hours it's been on. I'm going to do a voltage check. First, let's see what's in the main battery to see if it actually still is holding 8 volts. We'll do a voltage check here on this. Get our leads. Just hang on, let's do this off camera. Okay, the also the battery is holding its full 8 volt charge. 8.18 volts. That's pretty good for a battery that's nearly screwed. Now the amp measurement, I think I've got to plug it into here for amps. So if I take it out, I should get a bit of reading if I plug it in here. Now I'll switch on to amps, DC, and now we'll see what sort of reading we'll get. Just get there, hard to do a one hand. I wish, had, I wish we had an extra pair of arms here. Yeah, 2.93 amps, DC, so yeah. Pretty good charging current. Slow charge for a battery like this, so now I might momentarily take this battery off a bit for a bit and we'll do a check, see how much this battery's holding. Yeah, a bit warm. Oh, yeah, note it is 36 degrees, nearly 40 degrees Celsius out today, so it's a pretty hot day today. It's supposed to be storms today, but no, the weather forecast is full of crap. They said today it was going to be stormy, but it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Huh. It's actually holding 1.9 amps, so the battery's taking charge. Now I'll plug this back into the common. Volts DC. 5.86 volts. The battery's coming back to life, that's good. Resistance. Hmm. Nothing. That's a good thing. This battery actually came out of this motorbike here. 984 Suzuki DRT50. Which needs a bit of um, linkages and needs brake, need brake, uh, drum and um, what do you call it? Uh, levers. The compression levers gonna be replaced. Handle up there gonna be replaced. It needs seals. The engine's, in, the engine's fine. It's been rebuilt. It's got monstrous compression, and I can just kick it over myself. But yeah, I don't ride it though because it hasn't got enough. Yeah, it's right in that condition, it's in with no levers and stuff and no brakes. It's kind of dangerous to ride as it is. So yeah, it's just sitting there doing nothing. But yeah, it's just a little 6 volt battery. Oh, I'll do this off camera, put it back on charge, leave it on for another couple of hours, and I'll monitor it from then on. And I'll Make another video, see if it yeah, if it's topped up fully. So yeah, thanks for watching.